Hello, welcome everybody and welcome to Imperator Row. My name is Menturius and well, this is the first time I'm going to play this game. We are going to play the tutorial as room, like you should start a game by learning it that way. But first I want to give a big shout out to Drosnik, who, well, I won this game in her giveaway. So she made it possible for me to play this game and to discover this game. But let's dive in right into the game because I really am excited to start. And we're starting the tutorial. Right, the glory of Rome. I have no idea what all these buttons do, but we are going to find out. Welcome to the tutorial for Imperator Rome. By completing the series of objectives which you will find on the left hand side of your screen. Unless you close them, which I did in a previous time. I pressed the escape button and I closed them. And I couldn't find out how to open them again. The buttons on the left side are your screen embossed with red and spear, alright, will allow you to open and close. Oh, yeah, I didn't read that part. <laughs> alright, well, maybe I shouldn't have restarted the game. Uh, you will be able to complete the objective in any order of your choosing, however, you will you are new to Paradox title or wish to refresh your knowledge, we recommend that you follow the objective from the list of top and bottom. Alright, so let me tell you a little bit about my experience. I played like 900 hours I think of Europa Universalis. Uh, if you want to see me play that, uh, I just started another series on Wednesday where I play like Iron, but it's been a while. I played Crusader Kings 2 on my stream and I tried to play Heart of Iron. So I am a little bit familiar with the Paradox game, but as every Paradox game, this game is overwhelming. If you start it and you don't know, yeah, I know what the maps look like and I know some buttons and some things is important. But it's still overwhelming. This game is always overwhelming when you start it first time up. So let's check out what we need to do. Hold your mouse button over the objectives and you will provide you with information. All right, Roma and Victor, click to proceed. All right, Senatus Polypsic Romanan Romanus. I hope I pronounced that right. For over 20 years, the Nestsen Roman Republic has fought an harsh campaign against the Seminat people on the south. Oh, Alright, I guess we'll see that soon. Although the victories often seem far from grasp, the war ended in a Roman favor, resulting in the liberation of the important Greek city of Neapolis. Please correct me if I'm, I'm saying anything wrong, just put it in the comment down below and I'll try to pronounce it better. The Seminites, however, have retreated to lick their wounds are far from defeated in the north the Erexcan people I the oh man I really need to try and get these pronunciations right because this is going to be a hard game otherwise uh, of Republic with the pronunciation to the south to Myriad Greek city states plotting behind one another back all right so i guess no no scrolling down uh, we will rise victorious of or fall internal strives in the barbaric horde the fate of the republic is in my hands all right for the republic all right another thing to read the starting situation during the tutorial you will be playing as rome the current date uh, which you find in the top right corner oh man we are only in 450 is that bc or not i'm not sure yes after the founding of rome rome has recently established a local dominance in the stage is setting for expansion yeah we're definitely going to expand that that's something we are going to do for the purpose of the tutorial we have taken care of a few matters for you 
We will, however, teach you how to cover these areas in the course. All right, proceed. And another pop-up screen. Man, this is a lot of reading. Uh, along the top bar, and the main resource or the main resources will crew are spent over the course of your game we recommend you spend a moment getting acquainted with these all right let's get acquainted with we got ourselves a treasury we got a surplus of tax commerce and well i think we are doing pretty well we have monthly balance that's in the plus we got ourselves manpower uh, maximum 40,000, that's a lot of troops. We got some military power. Not quite sure how to spend that. We got civic power. We, oh, we, uh, or, or a tour power. And uh, we got religion power. Stability looks kind of good. And aggressive expansion is zero. Tyranny is also zero. All right. Uh, so I got familiar with those. I guess these are all kind of buttons, but we'll, we'll see that later. Uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, we provided you with a significant bonus of your treasure. Ooh, that's cool. Onwards! Alright. We should start with the top one. Stabilization of Rome. It doesn't look that bad. Let, let's first take a look at the map, because I always like... Oh my god, this is amazing. Egypt. So, I'm from the area that doesn't exist yet. Somewhere over here. They're all kind of lighthouses. Oh my god, this is looking amazing. I really want to do, once I've done the tutorial, I'm really going to start something else. Something in this section maybe something to take over england i like that oh man these are great countries i guess this is india where's china oh no this is china isn't it? yeah this is china no that's india i guess china is over here impassable terrain hmm Oh man, this is amazing. All right, let's get back to the focus of the game. Let's see, we got a lot of armies. We got some green ones. I guess these are my personal armies. And we got some gray ones. Some mercenary, That's, those sound expensive. We got, who are our board? We got the Etrurians on the top. We got the Sumerians on the south. That looked like a small country. And we got Nusia. All right. And I guess this is Katash. Oh, that looks. No, where is Katash? That's Katash. I really get need to get familiar with all these cities uh, because, well, I know this is all Katash, but where is the city of Katash? This is the Greece, the Macedon. I saw. Uh, Drosnik do one last play with this. All right, let's do focus on what we needed to because I do want to get something done in this first episode. Increase your stabilization to two. To increase your stability, open the regional window. All right, and click on sacrifice to the god. Trade of view, decisions, diplomat, economics, religions. All right. I can do a lot of things. I'm not quite sure what. But if you got any tips, put them in the comment down below. I really need help. Oh, sacrifice to the god. The poor ritual will cost... Will cost 286. Alright. Uh, I only have one. Oh no, that's the omen. Alright, let's push the button. Sacrifice to the god will appraise the people and increase the stability. Stabilization increase. Alright. Oh, that's... Did we do that one? So. Rome has gained one stability. Hmm. 
Call down an omen. All right. Omens are important future of the Imperator Rome. Open the religion tab window to browse which omens are available. It is important to know that only one omen may be active at one time. And that an omen may not be revoked. All right. We will recommend that you will pick the Blessing of Fortune. Why do you recommend that? Because that's something I would like to know. Because I know before I'm passing the game you have to do a lot of things in a certain way of order. And which one did they recommend? I already forgot about it. They recommend the Blessing of Fortune. So let's see what this gives. Uh, less national unrest. That tells me that I have a lot of unrest somewhere because, well, national unrest is kind of zero. So what is it? Why they want to do national overview? There isn't much information for me here right now because I don't know what I'm looking at. So I guess we should go with calling that omen and doing that. The blessing of fortune. Alright. And we have some less national unrest. Alright. Let's get to the next one. Having an army of 30 cohorts. Build a cohort on a unit. You have an army of at least 30,000. How much do I have now? I got 1500 so I guess we kind of need to build another army do where do we do that use a macro builder which can be found on the left top of your screen macro builder all right and recruit cohorts and I can pick different type of troops that's interesting I guess these are the basic troops. We got camel riders, I guess. Kari. This is light cavalry, I think. Yes, it is. I kind of like these guys, but what do I need for them? Movement speed is two, maneuver is one. Man, you really need to learn everything about this game because these guys are bad against the horse archers and the light cavalry. So these guys are kind of good only against light infantry. And these are my light infantry, they are not good at for anything. So if I build these and then I need something that beats the cavalry, chariots, I guess nothing is good against the elephants, but for now, all right. These are the cheapest ones, so I am definitely going to build two of these. I want... Can I do like a template? Like I... In, in European Universalis you can build like... A lot more. And can I do these guys as well? No. Uh, can I? Can I? Alright, so I cannot do these. But I can do these, so I kind of want to do... It's kind of funny, because once I click this, I, these lands not owned by us but they are willing to build it for us so how much troops do i have now at the moment because there's no way i can tell i i know i got like 14k but i guess i need to unpause the game 
Uh, reward is moral. Recruit the union. Make sure to merge them into one army. Guess. Right, so I got some mercs. I'm not quite sure. Three days. All right, so. So we got, I need to build more troops. I definitely need to build more troops. Uh, where's my builder? Let's build some cheap ones as uh, well. You, you. I'm already lost how many troops do I have? So, I'm paused the game. We got like 5,000 now. Can we merge you guys? Merge. In the old Roman days, the legions never came into Rome. I don't know if that was after the Caesars started, because this is kind of the age where there were no Caesars yet. So, I guess it's kind of before. But normally, there would no, they wouldn't dare to enter the legions into Rome itself. All right, so I need a few more troops. Uh, close this thing. Kind of annoying that the button is getting covered. I want to have a few more horse troops. All right, so and then I think we're going to move the big army. Who are you? P P Publicus Cornelius Arvian. Alright, you're 48 years old. I have no idea who you are. Publius Saponius Sohum is a man of many faults, but a cold heart isn't one of them. They, them all, his peer wax lyrics on the subject of his ardent friendship is passion all right so how much troops do we have now cannot be merged why not so how much troops do we have now 26 so these four should fix a problem on pause the game we got like 32 days left and we got a pretty big army kind of like this I don't know if it's a good combination but we got like some heavy inventory and that's always a good thing uh, we got like 7,000 heavy inventory so I guess he must like that and the last one. I know from the Paradox game that these buttons mean something. <laughs> but I really would like to know what it is. Alright, we need to merge them because else that isn't counting. Let's take a look. And we got the 30 cohorts. I wonder if we're still making a positive money. No, we're not. Have like... I have a feeling this isn't a good thing. I got a lot of money, but... Alright, so I should build some ships. I guess we can do that as well. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. How many did we need? Because I got four now. And we need 12, so I need to make eight more. It should be an easier way to do this. Attach. Can we not train them like oh, create a unit? No, that's not the thing. Damn, that sound is loud. Both to the navy. All right. All right. So this should be a. This should be it. All right. That's a way to build. 
kind of funny because yeah I was thinking that this would take attrition so I'm going to split you guys up there's only one province no there's no province that is going to sustain this big army so I kind of want to split it in half and send one army to that area because well attrition is always bad for you as you can see now they are not maybe i'll get a mission about commander later so let's see i'm building a tournament and Construct a training camp. Have at least eight unique cities with training camp. Freemen and tribesmen provide you with the base manpower. Having one or more training camp in a city will increase the manpower contribution from all freemen and tribesmen within that city. Alright, so the regaining manpower faction construction training camps. I have no idea how to do this. Uh, click on the city. Let's unpause the game. I guess he is kind of getting nervous because I'm sending troops his way. I would be nervous if there are 16,000 troops. Alright, so we are going to build, build units. No, build ships. That's not it as well. I need to do something. Build a market. Training camp. Uh, I need to build one training camp. Is there an easier way to do this? Please put it in the comment down below because well, this is going to take some time. All right, four. And five, six, seven. That one cancel. So I guess this is going to be it. That one. All right. So I guess every city has a maximum. I have no idea what this all is doing. But well, let's unpause because that is being built now. It's going to take 150 day import fish from latium in order to keep your cities from starving you will need to provide them with enough food to keep them growing rome is safe for, from starvation from the time being time being or however importing the fish from latinum will increase the growth speed of your pops latinum is a province to which the city of rome belongs all right by clicking on Rome you will see on the top right the province all right so I guess we are going oh, uh, that one click on the fish uh, here you will be able to see which province has a surplus all right so we should do this a uh, few the trade routes so I guess these are all kind of the province yes they are that are in our city as you can see we got our horses that's a good thing we got rain we got iron that's for the heavy infantry wine and we got some cloth of wood now let's see I want to import fish fish that one and as you can see request trade room from can i see if i go over this where they are because that's kind of cool from hysteria to where the hell is hysteria oh damn i wanted to know where it was can we do that again i kind of want to see so these are kind of, but it doesn't show where it is. I kind of want to know. This is all right. So I do jump to it, Macedon. 
But it would be nice if you go over it to see where it is. Alright, let's unpause the game because we are now importing fish. We're still doing that and we're slowly getting until the end. So I guess in the next stream we are going to conquer Sabine. Let's first check where that is. I guess... Where is Sabini? Let's see. The hidden dwellers known as the Sabini occupy the land to the north. Alright, so that's a way to find... Oh yes, there, there it is. Sabina. And... Um, yum, 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 yum. Fabricate a claim upon their land, opening a diplomatic and select a fabricate claim. Open diplomat. So I guess I'm going to do this already. Declare war. No, that's not it. Access. No. Influence. I want to. Covert action. That's the one. Uh, let's close. Can we close this one? Yes. I want to fabricate a claim. It's going to cost me 80 of the. 180 of diplomatic power. And I guess with all the thumbs up, that's going to be something they liked. Can I see that? How long it's going to take? I guess not. That's kind of annoying. Is it instance? No, it's not. So I guess we are going to unpause and I'm going to bring my army to that position and I'm going to bring one army to that position. I kind of want to give a leader to this guy. Ooh, I got a child born. A child is born, my consul. A daughter. Can we name this boss? I want to name you. Can, can we? No. That's kind of annoying. I wanted to name you Drasnik. Drasnik Rumia. Hmm. We could execute it. <laughs> kind of funny. Arrange a... Ma oh man, there are a lot of things we can do. This is kind of like the Crusader King part of the game. Alright, let's unpause. She's member to the Soproni. It's like the Soprano. Okay, like the television, uh, Mafia television series, but it's, it's almost like that. So... Alright. Tribal proposition. Our tribal uh, neighbors Mauritia has started investing a lot of their treasury into opening up the borders between our two nations. Hopefully this will provide beneficial for us as well. True their treatments are somewhat more unruly than we are we are used to, alright. Uh, we should keep the Mauritian in mind as they can provide good friends in the future. Well, surely, uh, but I cannot do anything, I guess. Alright. I still don't know how long it's going to take. Uh, fabricate, fabricating a claim. But I kind of hope it's going to be ready in the next episode if you guys do know how long it's going to take put it in the comment down below i still find it kind of strange that you are growing quintus Caratius. and i cannot control this hmm. all right i did learn a lot i'm first going to pause the game and well I hope to see you guys all in the next episode next week. Uh, this is going to be on every Thursday, so put it on your schedule, put it on your calendar. You could also push the subscribe button and push the little bell next to it. So you will get a notification when I upload another video. Thank you for watching. My name is Maturis and see you in Rome. And do like the Romans do.